Everybody chooses something bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little afraid to look at chat. The chat's gonna choose dog. <laughs> uh, 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 uh -oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say COVID. Damn. Didn't go for it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go topical, and I'm gonna say uh -oh. invading <laughs> Ukraine. Uh oh. <laughs> bad. Bad. Uh -oh. I think we. I think most people can agree that's bad. I don't think that's too. I think I'm gonna win. No, it's just opening the door. We're like, here we go! <laughs> yeah. Oh, so chat says Leonard. That's funny. Leonard? <laughs> well, also, agree, though. Tesla was that depression. Oh, Good. they're all saying Leonard, Leonard now. Okay, so yeah. Leonard, Leonard wins for them. Le yeah, they're going for Leonard. So Leonard, the invasion of Ukraine, and COVID. <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> Public schools. <laughs> Chat's funny. That's... You're funny, chat. <laughs> <laughs> You have you have uh, the some sponge. mighty death. <laughs> what evil sponge? It said the communal sponge. Oh no, that is bad. Like in the shower. No, the stuff. <laughs> no, I was thinking in the sink, the one that's no. all covered with scrambled eggs. It's pretty and bad stuff. too. It's yeah. Players' orders decided based on how interesting it would be if the selected thing was a key component in a supervillain's plan in a movie. All right. Well, invading Ukraine Ooh. is the least interesting thing that could be a supervillain's plan because that's just what happens in movies. That is like the supervillain's plan <laughs> yeah. already, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. COVID is what people think is a supervillain's plan already. Leonard. If, if you asked my grandmother, she'd tell you it was a supervillain's plan. Yeah. It's a Leonard would. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, what do the invasion of Ukraine and anti-SJWs have in common? They're they're <laughs> they're both motivated by Russian bots. Uh... <laughs> Uh, mm. There's a there's I think that's the whole thing where there's like they actively try to sow discord by like oh, yeah. the stupid fucking oh yeah oh yeah I know no, they've, 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 mm -hmm. they've proven that uh -huh. yeah anyway dirty sponge the communal sponge sponge which is implied to be used by multiple people <laughs> is last that is last Keith this How is your is first that time last? being last it's about which one's interesting that has to be better it's not than invading Ukraine uh <laughs> don't you want to know how the communal sponge is an evil villain's plan. I mean, the, the, I know. it's weird, but it's also gross, and I don't like thinking it's, about it's it. It's really gross. <laughs> it, the most interesting thing, I can see, I could see, I can see your argument, Keith. But you need to look at interesting from another perspective. I, I kind of like from another Leonard. perspective. Leonard, <laughs> Cause, is cause Leonard like, the most Leonard. interesting? He's there to sow dis, like discourse. Does Chad win? I think Chad wins. Yeah. I think that'd be very funny because like, what if what if his character in this game was meant to cause like oh, a no. culture war? But I strong I disagree that I so disagree that Sponge is last. It's, it, it, uh, invading a country <laughs> is just what supervillains actually do. <laughs> that is true. Uh, and then plagues. I'm going to destroy your emotional relationships by making you sit in rooms for three years. That's optimistic, saying three years, like, the ending's in sight. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't jinx it, Keith. Uh, that makes me sad. Stephanie, do you, do you go first, or does Keith go first? Uh, You're gonna make it her choice? It, it's whatever. <laughs> it's Keith, whatever. Keith, Keith, is Keith, Keith can go, go next. Alexian can be happy. <laughs> I do feel a little bad that I've been, like, Iron Man. I've been, like, I've been stubborn, so I've won twice. <laughs> Yeah, Colonel and I were just pretty chill. <laughs> I'm controller man, and I'll argue for my own favor. Let's see, the chat's just happy that they won. Honestly, I, I vote right, for Colonel a, more than Colonel a, votes for himself. There's a few. There's a few votes for Sponge. <laughs> for this, I guess. COVID is the least interesting. It, well, <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, it's definitely mm. more dangerous than the sponges. Yeah. That's yeah. very late. We're back. <laughs> they got to make choices. Chat's got to make choices, and they got all the choices open. <clears throat> oh, as long as they don't go to class. All right, guys. What say you? Where y'all going with your lives? With your little goober there, there, There's a avatar. slight line for class. Class, class. No, Ooh, they're stealing my class. smarts. Mm. Class boys. They want more smarts. Don't they have enough smarts? Smorts. Yep. Of, wow, they're why are they so consensusy? I don't get it. <laughs> Such a murder. <laughs> they must have. They must be planning a lot when I'm not looking because I can't look at. I only look at it when it's time for choice. 
That day you're the first one in class. You I'm sometimes come time. early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. Ooh, lame -o. He's a bit bitter. Just kidding. But like in a cool <laughs> no way. Shame. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you excelling at cliched movie tropes. You gain two smarts and one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. I was that kid. I also did that. I, w I was yeah. one teacher's favorite student of all time before he <laughs> retired. And I can't believe that that's yeah. a true thing that actually happened. Because I was never <laughs> like, why me? No, I, I had one teacher that gave me her old books while crying. Oh. <laughs> like, it, was like, it was like a lot. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but all of that becomes irrelevant as soon as Dahlia comes rushing in and traps you in an affectionate headlock. Chat. My grand vi is it Vizier, I think? Vizier, sure. How in the nine hells are you? I've been looking all over for you because, as you surely remember, you pledged to help me in my conquest of the Eighth Circle of Hell. You made no such pledge, but it is sort of endearing how she assumes you agreed to a thing just because she's excited about it. My army is rare in rare fighting form thanks to your groundbreaking innovations, but there is still work to be done. It is not enough that I strengthen my own army. I must vanquish the army of Damien LeVay. Oh, right. This is all in service of murdering your classmate Damien and destroying everything he loves. Well, you know what they say. Whatevs. <laughs> if Spooky High has taught you anything, it's that three heads, or four heads, or a thousand heads are better than one. So you rope in the two smartest people you know. Vera and Calculester. Hmm. That's our first time in a cutscene. Yeah. As an enlightened businesswoman, I am more than happy to sell out my friend Damien if the price is right. As a soulless automaton, my concept of friendship is shaky at best. How may we assist you, friend Dahlia? Simple. All I need is a foolproof strategy for wiping out the LeVay legions once and for all. Well, when she puts it that way, it really is simple. All you've got to do is... Build a very powerful bomb and then disguise it with a wig and some lipstick so the legions think it's a sexy demon. They all want to kiss. Is it so cartoon? <laughs> it's so like Looney Tunes. It's like when you replace yourself with like a thing made of gum. Hire Dante Alighieri as your hell consultant. Is that Dante's Inferno's yeah, author? Yeah, yeah, Dante Alighieri. I forget what the eighth circle of hell is because there's all they're all themed. But mm -hmm. I don't know why the eighth level is the one that they're, she's targeting specifically. Uh, it's because it's where Damien is. Yeah, but I wonder. I wonder if it, like, it must be like wrath or something. Based on past events of this game, it's probably the the circle of hot dogs. Circle. Of hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Was it a hot dog? That's story? Scott. No, was, that's that was Scott. Scott and Damien. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're I... making a store to. It was made of Griffins, right? Griffin hot dogs, I think, or Griffin burgers. Uh, yeah, I have a vague recollection and, of that. And yes. they're like, you can make it out of not Griffins. <laughs> uh... <laughs> like I revolutionized the world for them. Let's see. So there, there go, there's some back and forths about the bomb. Most people are saying top. Yep, they're saying top now. Oh, that was bad news for you. That was yeah, bad sorry, news. Yeah, sorry guys. Ah, uh, uh, yes, the old sexually attractive nuclear weapon trick works every time. <laughs> How many times have you done this, Vera? My lawyer has advised me not to discuss this further. What about the wig and lipstick? Where are we going to get those? Never fear, friend Dahlia. Dis disguising machines as things that are not machines is one of my many skills. Observe. He's wearing a cool Hawaiian shirt. That's how. <laughs> I love. I love when he's wearing a stupid shirt. <laughs> oh, you're observing, all right. And you can go right on observing as Calculester turns the bomb Vera provides into the sexiest demon you've ever seen. It's almost too sexy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chat. Why are you looking at the bomb like that? Chat, you appear to be producing saliva at an abnormally high rate. Oh, for the love of... Don't kiss the bomb, chat! It's the kiss-activated bomb! It's too late. Run! You can't resist. And just like every other romance you've ever attempted, this one blows up in your face. <laughs> Luckily, Spooky High School... Spooky High School exists in a world where most actions don't have consequences, so neither you nor the school are permanently destroyed. You do lose two fun one boldness, though. Um, there goes your, your event, the events of winning the nighttime event thingy. Hmm. I guess like good. I mean, I guess I'll, yeah. I, I don't have I don't have great creativity. I'm trying to be the king of poetry, <laughs> and also that's probably the most likely place for poetry to, to, to do happen. 
That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. Damn. Roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate to something a bit more useful. Hmm. It seems that seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet. You gain two creativity. You find Vera up in the lighting booth, stroking a white cat and glaring at the other students on stage. Where did she get that cat? Did she steal it? No time to wonder, she's talking to you. Pathetic. Look at those ants down there, frantically rehearsing for the talent show. It means so much to them, which is why I intend to take it from them. That skank Alvita was so full of herself when she won last year, with her stupid self-emulation trick. Well, I must then wipe that, the charred smirk of her undead face. What's... you wanna try again? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Something's wrong. What? Oh, you, yeah. You cut out well, a little I'll, bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll soon wipe the charred smirk off her undead, uh, undead face. The only question that remains is, how? My body is flawless and my talents are matchless, but I don't like to leave these things to chance. Tell me, so that I can blame it all on you if things go wrong, how would you poison all the other con contestants in the talent show? I'd send them each a box of chocolates, but instead of chocolates, it'd be snakes! Ooh, yay! I would like that. <laughs> i give them lead poisoning, like, from bullets. I'd shoot them, is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, well, not that one. That's definitely boldness <laughs> yeah. when it's that. So that's, I guess that makes it easy. This isn't poetry. Did it do the thing where it just stops doing the event midway through? Because I'm going to be mad if that happens again. That just mm. seems to happen. I'm like, well, I want it. I want continuity. Well, maybe it requires you to go to specific places. I don't know. I can't tell how this game works sometimes. Yeah. You have what my psychotherapist calls an irreparably twisted mind. I like it. Everyone will be expecting me to send them poison chocolates. But no one will expect the chocolates to actually be snakes. It's like... Su uh, Sun Tzu. Uh, Sun Tzu said in The Art of War, that famous book that I keep hearing people talk about, <laughs> but never. <laughs> Nobody expects snakes. You're pretty sure Sun Tzu <laughs> never said that, but you nod and smile anyway. You gain two smarts and one creativity. What happened to my continuity game? I don't get it. I don't get this game. I don't understand either. I'm like, I'm like um, why, do, why do plot lines just stop? <laughs> can, where can I get charm? Uh, Jim. Let's go. Or five dollars. Let's go. <laughs> or five dollars. Yeah. Or five. Even oh, actually, five dollars no. are more charming to people than you don't have five dollars. <laughs> 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 Let's go to the. Wait, is class available? No. No, yeah, let's go to the gym. Get yoked. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place, but the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your classmates. He's totally mesmerized. He's the most epic wink ever. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, you know how to win other people's over people's hearts. You gain two charm. You're well into another round of dodgeball when, horror of horrors, Calculester gets oh, hit no. with a dodgeball. Sweet baby! <laughs> Unexpected collision detected. Entering safe mode. Apparently, Calculester's safe mode consists of running around the room and try tying mattresses and hard hats to everyone to insulate them from hard fall falls. Harmful balls. Everything must be safe. I am here to protect you. You've got to put a stop to this. Dodgeball is no fun without the prospect of, ser of seriously injuring your peers into the auspices of a game. Also, you like Calculester, and he seems pretty stressed out. You should probably find a way to repair him. Why are you always trying to solve everything yourself? Ask desperately if there's a doctor in the gym. No time to think. Cut the red wire! <laughs> Wait, no, that's veins. <laughs> <laughs> that's veins! Uh, I'm gonna probably go with the second one. Because that's uh, boldness, probably. All right. So bold. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Applying your characteristic lack of forethought, you lunge towards Calculester, wire cutters at the ready, and snip the first red wire you see. Update. Safe mode deactivated. Concept. Safety unknown. Oh, he's going to be a, a killer. Adopting a new now. persona. Reckless badass with nothing to lose. 
Resuming competitive dodgeball activities, enabling trash talk. Ooh. Break your teeth on my metal dick, organics. <laughs> <laughs> and he shows a look at the face. <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> That's adorable. Calculessor lays waste to all the challengers with a merciless hail of dodgeballs. Faces are permanently disfigured. Morale is obliterated. When the other team is nothing but a pile of twitching arms and legs, Calculester turns to walk away from the carnage just as it explodes for no reason. <laughs> You're sure Calculester will be back to his old self as soon as his software updates, but for now, this is rad. You gain two fun and one boldness. Nice stats are pretty good. That's good because I think he needed fun. So I, I think that's like, I, I really do think he's he's smart and fun, so that worked out good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty like rolling, but, but I, I keep like getting, I, I got Scott last time for some fucking reason. <laughs> um, he might just keep showing up. What, what's the bathroom's boldness again? Is that right? Yep. Okay, I'll go there. Bold. That day you skip class intending to spend the term in the bathrooms, but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way wow. there. Who the fuck runs security here? Was one of them... <laughs> did you subdue f force burn? Is that why you won't show up to poetry class? <laughs> what the... I'm, I'm really annoyed. Where the fuck is that storyline? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you're totally gained plus two boldness. Suddenly you smell the distinctive odor of rotten eggs, na nail polish remover, Ooh, and chocolate syrup. That's a horrible combination. <laughs> <laughs> this can only mean one thing. You kick open the door of the stall to find. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Did you come to try my latest batch of toilet wine? My normal tasting group isn't here yet, probably because they're all dead. I've never left that stopped me from getting drunk, though, so there's really no excuse. You know, I expected my toilet wine to be a lot more popular at the school. I mean, I'm selling wine at a high school. You'd think kids would be lined up around the block. Maybe it's because you call it toilet wine. <laughs> call it pruno, like they do in jail. But my only repeat customers are a couple of homeless dudes and Barry the masochistic swamp monster. And you, you're gonna try it too, right? No? Oh, then you must be here to help me with my marketing. Come on, help me figure out how to make Polly's totally legit toilet wine a success. Sell it to the military as a chemical weapon. Poured in people's mouths while they're sleeping. <laughs> that's bold. That's bold. And then the first one is money, I think. Jesus Christ. So let's do the second one. You have three tens. Not so fun. Oh, that, why is that oh, fun? Oh, because I'm getting stressing. people drunk. I'm getting people drunk while they're sleeping. You're waterboarding them while they're asleep. Ew. The, <laughs> a oh, that, that's a it's so hot. Why would I do that to people? You it's shouldn't toilet pour, wine. You shouldn't pour things in people's mouths when they're sleeping. Great idea, you first. You're yeah, Jimi Hendrix him. That's not how Jimi Hendrix died. <laughs> you're thinking, uh, you're thinking of uh, Jim Morrison. It's a lot, yeah. But that's not really how he died either. He didn't die of alcoholism. <laughs> he, he didn't die of alcoholism. You're thinking of this other wrong thing. <laughs> well, you're, he's a, he died of a drug overdose, not a not a toilet wine overdose. No. <laughs> you, uh, the first lead singer of ACDC died because he vomited while sitting up. Oh wait, you're not asleep. Hold on, let me hit you in the head with this brick. Before you can explain that this is not what you had in mind, you have nothing at all in mind except for a brick. When you wake up, you're still in the stall, but things have changed. The stall is eroded and decayed. Your clothes are threadbare and torn. You've grown a beard, which is impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> How long has it been? Years? Centuries? Polly is still here, though. It's been like 45 minutes. The wine just made you grow a beard and go on a rampage. It was pretty awesome. But then you told Principal Giant Spider about my toilet wine and he poured out my entire stash. Way to go, narc. <laughs> Polly leaves you in the bathroom to shave off your improbable beard and deal with a hangover so bad you have to get it surgically removed. You lose two boldness and one charm. I can't tell what's happening in this game. Dude, this is the weirdest playthrough. We're encountering... I've never got. I've not gotten <laughs> no. the same people at all. We're getting a different character yep. every scene. It, any plot lines that we start Is this the result disappear. of your mods? The mods I don't know. This? I don't think so. My, even, not even my mod is doing it. It's like oh, continuing. Keep, you didn't let us pick before. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, it's one of these ones. It's just you don't pick a thing. Oh, okay. Player orders okay. decide based on how early you would die in a zombie apocalypse. Dude, I'd be pretty good. You'd be pretty good. 
Oh. So is it the first I... chat or the last chat that dies? Because they, they do have numbers. <laughs> <laughs> they have an unusual advantage over us, I think. Because it's no, they them. don't. They have a disadvantage. This is how early they would die the last. Have you guys ever used weapons? But before? is it is it is it who? But it, do they all count collectively? No, but like as long as one of them is remaining, chat is still up. Chat you might win. I mean? Somebody yeah. pointed out that chat is oh, a bunch of people. Oh, because so. because dying first is 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 good here. Is how yeah. No, uh, but really? Yeah, because player one <laughs> decide on how early you would die. Oh. So the worst you are in the apocalypse, the better you are. So oh, chat's well fucked because there's I'm... fifty of them. Oh, hey, yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, chat loses. So who dies first, Mirror Colonel? <laughs> Uh, Stephanie has I skills. Was, I don't have guns or anything. I don't have guns? What do you think I have? I have amiibos. You're American. How do keep, you not keep. have guns? <laughs> That's not how anything works. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have an embarrassing just, katana I've kept since a, I was 12. Does that count? Oh. Still one one mm -hmm. of those. Well, I have a, I, I have a, a circular saw. I could use that as a weapon, probably. Probably not, actually. It's terrible. They don't have, <laughs> it's any, really I don't have any tools. I, I watched a lot of tools. Walking Dead. <laughs> like, too much. Mm. Like, hundreds of episodes across three shows. And then the whole, the entire comic. That's, like, preparing. Unless they don't work that way. Okay, so do you Maybe think... Maybe we should think about whether Portugal or America is more dangerous to have a zombie apocalypse in. <laughs> Honestly, America would be terrible because we we, we have no camaraderie no. over here. I don't know. We're sparser here, though, aren't we? Like, California's really empty. Like, entire yeah. chunks of it are just wasteland. That, that, that's a, think I mean, about how crowded Europe is. People, I mean, you're, yeah. you're probably shocking a bunch of people who think that California is just like wall to wall. Like, yeah, they're wrong. Uh, even the mo yeah, <laughs> the U.S. is too big. It's so fucking big. It's so yeah. empty. There's so much empty space. We have a lot of Costco's here. That's yeah. always what I think is like Costco. Like you can get away and from then, zombies uh, quickly. Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> That's yeah. where you'd go. Like if we just drive like a few blocks, we're like already at like fields. The only problem the is zombie if you went to Bass Pro Shops, other people would think of that, and they'd already get there first, and they already have crossbows, and you'd be yeah. fucked. I have a lot of friends <laughs> with connections. I have a lot of places to go. I imagine that Colonel lives in a more crowded area. Yeah. The zombie apocalypse in the United States is like an Colonel's open world fucked. adventure game. And, but, and can here Stephanie in Europe, outlast it's like 50, a... 50 stream viewers. <laughs> huh? Can Stephanie outlast 50 stream viewers? I mean, I think statistically probably not. There's probably at least one person in the chat who's more fit. There's one, there's one guy that, that like won a season of Alone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one guy that killed the moose, are you in the chat? <laughs> Ding bong. Ding yeah, yeah, go first. I can still. Cla oh, no, wait. This is not what it. Oh. <laughs> Calculester, where be thee? Ah, there you Top are. Top left. Yes. You arrive at your chosen table to find that Miranda has locked one of her eating serfs in an Iron Maiden. You're unfazed, but Calculester is very phased. <laughs> Friend Miranda, it isn't locking your unpaid intern in a spike filled sarcophagus unethical? Mm, unethical? Unethical. Adjective. Inconsistent with rules and standards of ethics. <laughs> ethics? Oh, you mean those things poor people have instead of royal titles. <laughs> but I thought that ethics were a critical part of being a good organic creature. That's a common misconception. The key to being good is having lots of money and punishing anyone who dares disrespect you. For example, this saucy sir dared to put ketchup on the hot dog she was eating on my behalf. As if I were the sort of person to catch up on a hot dog. 48 hours and the Iron Maiden should teach her. Error! Error! Warning. <laughs> Friends' te uh, statements are inconsistent with internal moral compass. Existential crisis imminent. Uh-oh. Quick. Set Miranda straight. Or set Calculester crooked. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, Calculester? Disagreeing with Miranda? Looks like it's disrespectful prison time for someone else, too. <laughs> Miranda, let's punish your surf in a different way. Say, by giving her a frowny face sticker with really aggressive That's glitter. That's very cute. I like <laughs> I'll that. I'll the second one. Obviously. Real aggressive glitter. Oh. Aggressive glitter? Truly, you are even more delightfully cruel than I. An Iron Maiden may only torments for 48 hours, but glitter. <laughs> glitter is eternal. She'll be reminded of her transgression until her dying day. Ah, I see. Friend Miranda's ethics module is poorly calibrated. Excuse me? Is that disrespect <laughs> I hear? No, I feel no disrespect towards you, Miranda, because as a rule, I do not feel. 
Oh, wonderful. Would you like a job as one of my loyal torturers? No, thank you. I will, however, supply you with stickers if it ensures the, sa the surf's safety. <laughs> with the extra cute. stickers left over from Calculester's first printing, you still start, uh, you two start a thriving punitive sticker business. It's a bonding experience. Um, sure. Congrats. Yeah. Um, that's Miranda taken. Uh, ah, pretty sure I'm not going to prom. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all kind of fucked on this one. Let, let, let chat have their, their dommy mommy though. I spent like two of my events on a plot line that just stopped, I guess. Yeah, and you have like you don't have a lot of money, so. No one's doing Scott, so I guess I'll just go meet up with Scott. What's up, Scott? They weren't doing Polly, were they? Were they doing Polly? No, they were trying to do Dommy Mommy, remember? Uh, is that a is that a date? Yeah, I think so. They were all into it. You approach and Scott and Polly's table up. to find them crouched behind a pile of of jelly desserts, plotting. Thanks, Broseph. You're you're here. Uh. Oh, okay, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Thank bros if you're here, bro. Come in, join our huddle. Maybe you're curious about our huge pile of jelly jam gelatinous de dessert cups. Well, wonder no more. We're going for the jelly prize. Yeah, we're gonna win it. If you collect the foil cover of a hundred jelly desserts, we'll be the luck <coughs> we'll be the lucky winners of <coughs> yes. one free deli dessert jelly dessert. Ah! Right now we're stuck. We only got 99, which means we need... <clears throat> we need... One more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more! You give them your jelly dessert, but you already... But you already threw it at a bird person you hate. <laughs> Guess you've got to make a choice. <laughs> Steal the final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert factory. Make a puppy dog. Make like a puppy dog and beg. All things are sweeter when achieved through pity. Hmm... That's definitely Polly, and that's definitely Scott. Do I have points with anyone? Miranda, I, I have one point remember. with Miranda. I can go. I guess I could just go fuck myself. <laughs> hmm. That's what you'll be doing on prom night. There's literally like I literally have accomplished nothing. I'm completely fucked. Begging what? I never beg except in intricately choreographed erotic scenarios. Hell yeah. Is this an intricately choreographed erotic scenario? <laughs> no, even better. This is a gaze. This is gazing sadly at people until they give us food. That is definitely a dog thing to do. Yep. <laughs> you happily follow Scott around the cafeteria, uh, whimpering at people for their jelly desserts. Polly just eats all the stockpile jelly desserts while you're busy begging. My dog only has one eye, so it's super effective. She looks at me <laughs> sad because she looks extra pathetic. <laughs> also, no one is willing to give you any je any jelly desserts, but that doesn't matter. As the saying goes, begging is its own reward. What? <laughs> that is the same. That goes. <laughs> that and the quality time you get to spend with Scott. That's also a reward. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I feel like the game almost just doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> okay. This whole this whole game has been confusing. I think Chat wants to go to the store to buy a present for someone. So I'm gonna go talk to I'm gonna talk to Damien and Zoe. You sit with Zoe and Damien. Damien seems angry, but in a low-energy way, which is very weird for him. You feel the urge to check. Don't talk to me, fuck mice. Fuck I have mice. a cold and I feel like shit and I just want to drink my soup and murder someone. What's that adorable little cup you're drinking from? What? This is not adorable. It's a trophy that I took from the super buff dude after I killed him. But it says number one son of all hell uh. on it. Yeah, well, maybe the buff dude was the number one son of all hell before I killed him and took the, the, the soup mug. Shut up, don't look at me. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, if you have no sentimental attachment to it, I guess you could sell it to me for 10,000 monies. Yeah, right. Like, you have that much money. Mm -hmm. Dude, I was an eldritch, eldritch deity devouring souls for centuries. You think I never took their swag along the way? Give me the cup. No, it's my number one son of all hell mug, and you can't have it and get away from it with your tentacles and your mouth and your invasive questions. <laughs> he voiced that really good, Colonel. Why? <laughs> Why? Why should I get away? Why? They can go on like this all lunch. But maybe if you jump in, you can curry favor with one of them. With curry. Leave Damien alone, Zoe. 
He can't sell or give this cup away because he's under a terrible curse that means he must keep it in his possession. It has nothing to do with paternal love. <laughs> Zoe, watch this. Of course this cup couldn't belong to Damien. He's the number eight son of all hell. Oh, so second best. The second one's egging him on to admit it's his cup, yeah. which makes Zoe happy. I'm, I'm gonna do the top one, because it has nothing to do with paternal love. Fucking <laughs> metal! Well, that's fucking right! It's a curse! A crazy, crazy curse! A curse? Yeah! I love curses. Tell me everything. Oh, uh, well, you see, I, you, if I were to ever give away my number one son of all hell cup, my skin would turn itself inside out and my eyes would disintegrate and I would stop believing in the effectivity, effectivity of getting vaccinated. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow, Jamie, that sounds like a really powerful curse. I'm glad you've kept that adorable cup for non-sentimental reasons. Yo, Yo Stephanie. That was, that was cool of you. Thanks. I feel like percent less sick now. Dude, he's thrown out a lot of percentages in this game so far. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully 8% less sick translates into some good prom date potential. You're the only person going to prom. I, dude, I'm not even going to get to prom. Like, this is the, I've got I the least I'm... interactions I've ever had in any of the games you, Which so is far. more than anyone else Yeah, has. yeah, but I still don't think, I don't think any of us like, are going. Th this entire game like feels like it's broken. I don't know what's wrong. Chat thinks they have a plan, I might be able... but uh, I don't their, know what it is. What was their plan? You guys also, want, you also, want does to go chat to... know what I did wrong? Uh, chat wants to go to the store, right, chat? I think they want to go to the shop. They only <laughs> have one money, though. Oh, dude, you guys don't have money. What are you guys doing? Oh, it's, it keeps saying, still saying shop. shop. I okay. guess they're gonna get the present. Oh, because the present is probably random. Okay, let's do. Let's do it. <laughs> You're gonna get zero stats. Oh like, oh Did my god, fifteen not smart. Work? I guess I'll just never use mods again. <laughs> that that'll go over well with the comment section when I say that out loud. Oh, it says gift is free. Yeah, it's the gift that keeps oh, on free, giving. Yeah. I think they're just RNGing it to see what it'll do. No refunds. Let's see what it do. He says no refunds, we paid nothing for it. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's a little helper. That's a lot of bold. Oh, fuck. 19 wow. boldness. The Xmas gun. Legends say that long ago, Santa used to give naughty boys lead instead of coal. That means they, they're going after Damien then. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you guys. Just kidding, I don't care. <laughs> unless, unless you can get Dommy Mommy with boldness, which Everyone would be Everyone chooses cool. an activity. My favorite activity is not losing at this game. <laughs> Please work game. Uh, activity. Uh, sleep, sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> um, my activity is is playing games on the channel with Keith and Colonel and chat. Aww. That's very so close this is the to last time you'll be seeing Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, I'm <was> see. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Eating. I see. Someone said sleep, but Colonel already took sleep. Mm -hmm. I see bath. Uh, <laughs> what's sleep like? Pizza. Pizza is a good activity. Uh, there's two revolutions, I think. What, what does that mean? No. What does revolution mean? Oh, yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Somebody said accounting. That, that, uh, existing was shown. Ex is existing showed up twice. Thinking yeah. and revolution. I can't tell if the show. What up is revolution, guys? I don't know. <laughs> Bolts. They're all saying it now. Well, we'll, yeah. Okay, we're revolution. 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 Alright, guys. Oh, I like fuck, I like the, the way chat works. I like the way the chat works with like because they get they bounce things they off just, of each other. Yeah, they it's just like our own ball. minds. But then they're wrong it's like in our own brains so it thinking. doesn't even work. Okay, so they're they're just uh, using like the act of <clears throat> revolting. So Yeah. Uh deep sea diving. Scary. Deep sea. So sleep, With deep sea games. diving, revolution, and playing games. Streaming. Yeah, basically, basically streaming. Yeah. Player orders decide based on how silly it would be to the next hottest dance move among millennials is based on mimicking this activity. Uh, <laughs> revolution. What does that mean? Streaming, deep sea diving, and sleeping. I think I win, right? It's the silliest. Hey. Cause, it's, Cause that'd be like, like it'd be anti-dancing. Is sleeping sillier than streaming? 
Yeah, screams, revolution is just what dance already is, so like, they lose. Like dance, dance <laughs> revolution, guys. <laughs> I think you guys uh, all lost that one. I think there revolution is the least interest is the least silly option. It's just what it's just the revolution of dance. Oh. <laughs> or yeah. shooting guns in dance form, which already exists mm, as a dance form. Streaming group. or sleeping? I think sleeping's the best because sleeping is literally not it's moving. The silliest. So you yeah. you would just you would just lay down. Also, people already do swimming dances. I think it's I think it's Colonel, me, Keith, and the chat. I agree. Because mine would just be like moving your hand like you like you have a mouse, <laughs> just moving like your hand back and forth, and then just sitting in a chair. Let's go to class. It's coin. It's finally. That day, your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. The teacher gains 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. Or is he? We hope not. Yeah. Oh, you're not. also getting two smarts. Hooray. A few minutes later, Calculester approaches you. You can tell he's nervous because all his fans are running at maximum speed. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fred Colonel. My calculations indicate that I possess greater than average amorous feelings in relation to you. I am considering upgrading our relationship to more than friends. However, quantitative analysis of the de uh, relevant data pools indicates a disturbing trend. Mm -hmm. If a potential love interest cannot get along with their partner's parents, relationship success probability drops to 0.006%. Uh, I have what you organics call a good relationship with the library computers that function as my parental units. I would like you to meet them and receive their blessing. Since you are such a kind, upstanding individual, this should not be an, indivi an issue. Oh, fuck. Neither of those adjectives accurately describe you. More accurate would be horny and... horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you've got a co to concoct a brilliant plan to woo Calculester's parents. Offer to defragment their hard drives for them. Isn't that like a head massage for computers? Learn binary so you can converse with them in their native tongue. That was very slowly. That's probably smart. Is the second one because learning binary Learn. would be immensely difficult. First one's probably. Yeah, and I don't know. Yeah. It, it's probably charm or something head massage related. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the, the binary and smart. So hopefully it is. Oh. oh! Sneaky. What the fuck? Curse. I can't tell. I would never have guessed that. You pick up a copy of Binary for the someone in chat will get it and get to studying. You don't have very much time to practice though, so you're nowhere near fluent when you meet Cal's parents. Greetings, you say to them. Blah 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 blah. What's taking you so long, says Calculester's dad? Why don't you like what? You don't like numbers or something? Frankly, I'm offended you would assume we use binary, says Calculester's mom. Our native language is Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I am also, I am not sure if you are aware of what you were spelling, but you were essentially screaming penis at my family. This happens every time you try to meet someone's parents. Every time you lose two smarts and one charm. <laughs> oh damn. Oh no. So things are going well for everybody. Um fuck. Okay. Uh I gotta. Womp, womp. I, I still gotta get more, more bold again. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> penis, 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 penis. No, it was just one penis. That That's how binary that, works. That, I mean, oh yeah, you were just screaming penis very slowly. Penis. <laughs> I feel like I could win over somebody. Just have to find the right parents. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess I just I gotta do boldness. I, I kind of wanted to leave it open for if chat wanted to get Damien because they they just have a gun now. But I don't know if they can do anything. With I don't think. Uh, I think. Well, they need, they need hearts with Damien to date him. They can't just start all of a sudden. You can't just point the gun at him. Say, <laughs> I don't. He's Damien into guns. That's been, that's canon. We've shot Damien before. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, no, care we about haven't. bullets. Yeah, dodgeball had guns at one point. Okay, so they say specifically Vera could be shot, but Damien and uh, Polly couldn't. So I'll go, I'll go to the mm -hmm. bathroom again. <laughs> so bold. exciting. It's so bold. So daring. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny, big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking yourself in the mirror. What's the mirror in that? You know what? You can keep two anyway, just for saying that out loud. I hate 
the fact that I've thought about killing a turtle. I should yeah. just kill myself That's right now. That's the second time that you've canonically thought about killing a turtle. I know, it makes turtle, me very angry. And no one else has gotten that before, so what do you want to tell us, Stephanie? I never, I never think about killing turtles. <laughs> it's Tiny later when you're minding your own eyes. business and definitely not doodling pictures of Damien in your notebook. He would be fun to draw. And you see Damien making his way over to you, at which point you definitely do not need to hide your drawings. Yo, so here's the thing. You know how I think most people are pretty much 100% awful fuck doors? I actually think you're only 70% awful fuck doors, tops. In fact, I actually think you're kind of rad. Really? We've like interacted so little, but okay. <laughs> I've been meaning to get a new tattoo since nothing's as rad as intentionally sticking needles into yourself to create a permanent image on your skin for fucking ever. And I thought maybe we could get <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I thought maybe we could get matching tattoos if you can come up with something rad for us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is it's your chance to once and for all convince Damien of how awesome you are. Don't fuck this up. It's time to suggest the baddest, raddest, maddest tattoo of all time, which is an on fire pentagram made out of pentagrams, and those pentagrams are made of guns, and those shoot pentagrams, and the pentagrams are on fire, and the fire is on fire. A sea cucumber. I really do want to see a drawing of the top one. Mm -hmm. Like, that would, I I mean, I don't know how anyone, it's so complicated and annoying. It would be like a mess yeah. to look at, but I'd love to see someone actually draw it. I've actually always, I've always wanted to trick someone into getting a tattoo with me. <laughs> trick somebody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I have a, I have my itchy and scratchy tattoos and I got I got both of them because I figured that would be like the best couple tattoos I could think of. So I just mm -hmm. got them both because I'm in a relationship with myself. <laughs> um, you got a narcissistic couple's tattoo? Yeah, I got like... You I just have both heart, <laughs> both sides of a broken necklace? Yeah, yeah, I, I did, that's exactly what I did. Like, I kept both halves. Yeah, I wear both friendship necklaces. Because I am my own best friend. I'm guessing this one's bold. That is for sure exactly what I'm going to do because that is the tattoo I would actually want. <laughs> Cucumber's not going to look good. Hard to convey. Oh my fuck! That's the most metal thing I've ever heard! I'm, I made a good choice with you. Maybe the pentagrams that are pentagrams could be made of pentagrams that are pentagrams! <laughs> yes! Somebody and that the fire can be. And the fire can be sentient, and the pentagrams can hate their deadbeat uncle. Getting specific. That's so sad. And the guns end up on TV because they wouldn't eat their vegetables. And maybe. The, the pentagram pentagram pentagrams are also ex-convicts, yeah. Th these will be the raddest tattoos ever. Dude, he's got some he a little baggage there, a little bit of baggage in that tattoo. Let's go get them right now and have them on both our bodies together forever. Fuck yeah. What? You're about to get badass matching tattoos with Damien. This is the raddest, coolest, dopest, most lit thing to have ever happened. And you'll and now you'll be tied together for eternity, and then he'll still reject you for prom. That you the to sickest me. tattoo that of all time. To you? Yeah, we've done this yeah. before. <laughs> and we, and, and I thought you meant in real life. No, <laughs> no, we, we've had oh, the no. tattoo scene before, but we have almost always gotten rejected by Damien. And two bold and one charm. Um, I'm not I cool think, enough to have tattoos. I, I think it's kind of funny. Like, I wouldn't even mind getting a ta like a matching tattoo with someone and have yeah. them be someone I never saw again because it would just be funny to me to think that they have a tattoo that they have to think about me with. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. It'd be more out of spite. Uh, as long so as we, you like the tattoo. So either this poetry but, slam's yeah. going down or this game just fucking dropped me. Dicks. <laughs> That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you're struck by the light, uh, lightning of inspiration. You come up with an ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you by it. We're not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, you... <gasps> you had to do poetry practice, practice to oh, meet sorry, up. I said, I, said <laughs> tattoo, tattoo. I said tattoo practice. Sorry. <laughs> Afterwards, you had to poetry practice to meet up with Forceburn and Liam. They said something about needing to whip your other teammates into shape, but how bad could they actually be? Uh, sorry. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the chat. Hey, Keith, you're just in time. I popped nine tabs of LSC and I'm ready to find my muse. Let's get this poetry party fucking started. Disgraceful. Holly, poetry is not a party. It is a serious art form that must be taken seriously. I s 
singing for us. <laughs> As such, I have already put my poetry serfs in shackles and weighed down the corners of their mouths to prevent them from smiling. Now we can really get into the spirit of things. Hooray! Hooray! I'm so glad we fi <coughs> we're finally all on a sports team together. Let's go get some... <coughs> I need a different voice next time for this character. Let's do some warm-up warm -up stretches. What muscles do we need <laughs> Do we need to exercise for poetry? It's not working. <laughs> Ow. Oh, Scott, you're such a kidder. Poetry isn't a sport. It's a form of literature. The only muscles we'll be using are our minds. Oh, really? Well, that's okay, because I can be- I can totally read. I've always loved reading ever since I learned how, uh, how to when I was- uh, wait, how old are people when they, when they usually learn to read? See what I mean? I'm not sure where Liam is, but now that you're here, we might as well get started. These three are the only other students who signed up for poetry competition, so we're stuck with them. We need a rallying strategy to get them in the spirit of the craft. Unfortunately, teamwork and leadership aren't really my forte. My strengths lie in extracting art from the dark, murky nether regions of my soul. So I'm gonna do that, and you work on making your friends into the next Shakespeare's before school lets out. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. Time to turn these chumps into, ch into chow chowsers, right? <laughs> yeah. These morons into Miltons, these dunderheads into Dickinsons. What can you do, besides more alliteration that is? Shred all the work of the of the Baudelaire. Baudelaire into a powerful smoothie. Make them do 100 poetic push-ups, whatever that means. That's boldness, right? Or fun, which are both my worst stats. But what is the top one? If it's smart or creativity, I'm good. Or charm. It's gotta be that one. Yeah, so smart. Oof. Yeah, that, was, that was a guess. The, well, the, the bottom one was probably boldness or fun, which are my worst stats, so I was pretty set. Yeah, I guess. Luckily, you already have a book of Baudelaire's complete works. You keep it next to your bed to raise your get laid potential. You blend up the poems. You also decide to throw in some other uh, necessary poetic tools, semicolons, essence of metaphors, and opium. Cool. I just know I just know Baudelaire because he wrote Flowers of Evil, and I just know Flowers of Evil because of that manga <laughs> called Flowers of Evil, which is pretty good. I just know I've heard the name before. <laughs> Le Fleurs du Mal. That's, that's all I've got to go on. Oh, cool. We're making drinks. Here, throw in some whiskey. Hemingway, like, loved that stuff. Dude, I, I have a special Hemingway whiskey in mm -hmm. my cabinet. <laughs> when father makes smoothies, he always adds a bit of truth serum. He said it really helps loosen up the war prisoners he's entertaining. Good ideas. Also add some kale. No pregame drink is complete without protein. Is protein in kale? No, no I don't think so. Oh, that doesn't sound right to me. You and your friends huh? each chug a cup of the of the poetry protein shake. Pro poetry? Pro pro poetry pro tier pro tier like, tree? Like 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 poetry and protein. So like pro tree. Pro, pro -tree. Pro tree. I hate it. That's the <laughs> worst that's worse than any pun I've ever made. <laughs> I don't know eh. about that. Eh, it's it a works. working title. It wow. works like written. This chase is really to say. bad. Yes, my eating surf seems to be making strange, unpleasant faces while drinking it. <laughs> Perhaps he's experiencing poetic inspiration. Oh, nope, that's nausea. I better put my vomit surf on deck. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to I don't like is. that. Does he help the other one vomit or does he yeah. vomit on his own? <laughs> well, nice one, Keith. Now we have the perfect shitty creativity boosting protein shake to drown our sorrows in after we lose. Bear just shows oh, up. I'm sorry. Hi. I'm sorry, did someone just say creativity boosting protein shake? Whoa. Whoa, yeah, actually. How long have you been there? Oh, I, I just arrived. I have this entire school bug to, to send me an alert whenever a viable business opportunity is spoken aloud so that I can snatch it up before anyone oh, else does. Fuck do you program that? You want to buy our protein shake, but it's completely worthless and poisonous, probably. It's got a bunch of ink in it. <laughs> Oh, that's for the FDA to decide. But first, I propose we merge your million dollar idea with my vast illegal performance enhancing drugs connections that make a cool mill before we get shut down. And, and make a cool mill. You take Vera up on her offer and manage to sell your worthless shake to a bunch of rich, trust-funded uh, grad students who are desperate to be published in the New Yorker. Before you know it, you're filthy rich. You know, 
I think this actually might work in a roundabout way. Now that we're rich, we don't have to waste time working real jobs in order to make ends meet. Yes! Which gives us lots of time to hone our craft, just like the pros do. I love being a starving artist. Maybe the real poetic talent was the classism we found along the way. <laughs> you guys have this contest in the bag. Two money and one smarts. All right. Chat, okay, yell things. Okay, chat, what do you want to do? They're saying you need to go for nobody. Yeah, they're saying I have to pick nobody, apparently. How do, how do you pick nobody? You just go with yourself, I think. Can you pick that's, that? Yeah, you can click on yourself on the far side to not go with anybody. I didn't, oh, so don't. I guess that's how it works. Why haven't I done that the whole time? Because <laughs> you're usually trying to date somebody. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, they're saying outdoors, or they're saying gym now. Gym, There's a lot gym, more gym, anywhere. I think gym is winning. Outdoors, gym. Yeah, gym is winning. Gym, outdoors, gym. That's more gym, I think. Okay, we'll do Jim. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She's, she thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she <gasps> attempts to throw a ball at herself. No. You explain to her the many, many ways that you think she's unique and wonderful while also defending the many pleasures in life. Just throw it up in the air and let it hit her in the head. <laughs> With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain one BFF, sadly she's not part of this game, so that beautiful friendship will take place off screen, and two charm. In the next game, you find yourself stuck on a team with Calculester, Miranda, and Liam. Three great friends with hot bods, but zero dodgeball skills. Correction! Aggregate team dodgeball skills index negative 5.6. Fine, I'll just show myself out then. So what, Calculester? We may not be very good at dodgeball, but we've got something even better on our side. Me! <laughs> I am a princess. The other team doesn't even have a lowly viscount. Victory is ours by divine right. Whatever. We're obviously the charismatic underdogs in this situation. The other team might win the game, but we'll get the moral victory. Negative. The opposing team is a group of scrappy youths from the wrong side of the tracks. They are roughly 86% more sympathetic than we. According to my calculations, there is no logical way for us to achieve victory, moral or otherwise. Hmm, nonsense. Vanderbilts don't lose, not an international intrigue, and not a dodgeball. We'll simply have to find a way of winning beyond logic. Now, who among us is the most illogical? Oh, of course, chat, what shall we do? <laughs> Calculus receives no way to win because he's thinking like a robot. To win a dodgeball, you have to think like a ball. We've all been training for this our whole lives without knowing it. Our day-to-day -day activities are actually deadly dodgeball moves. Now we wait for a bit. Day-to-day -day yeah. activities. So I think the... The one on the bottom might be creativity? It might be. Um... What's one at the top? The one on the top might be creativity because you have to think. Like you're like, well, you're already learning all along. Fuck, this is, that is hard. Thinking like a ball seems like a creative thing to do. Um. Uh, I see first. I see second. Yeah, they're I mostly talking like about other stuff still. Top is smart. <laughs> Somebody bottom, goes middle. Be the ball. Oh. Middle's a middle. You silly <laughs> trickster, you. Uh, oh yeah, top is one is also top. Oh, that's just one person saying it over and over again though. Don't don't spam. It's confusing. I'm trying to count you guys separately. Be the ball, one is funny. I think I saw more tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so as well. Oh, oh, that's literally the thing you have none of. Dodgeballs can think, and we're just hurling them at each other like more like mere inanimate projectiles. I told you guys it was creative. I told y'all. This is an outrage. Why are we here playing this game when we get when we should be creating strongly worded on on. <laughs> A strongly worded online petition is being performed of again. <laughs> what are you on about, Liam, my dear? Chat wasn't talking about thinking like a dodgeball. They meant that we ought to think like a royal ball. In other words, we must throw a party. Oh no, they're both deranged. <laughs> Surfs, release the streamers, bring out the hors d'oeuvres, unleash the bagpipes. Balls, rise up against your cruel masters. The revolution has arrived, as chat foretold before. <laughs> Balls will bounce and heads will roll. 
Like the yeah 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 song. <laughs> that only people only on know. The floor. <laughs> people only know the remixed version, but there's like an original. <laughs> I never, I never, I, I never knew the remix. It's, one. it's, it gets around so much that I, I haven't heard people listen to the, the original one before, but it's the only one I knew before. Yes, comrades, come to me. Together we will. Liam's dramatic monologue is interrupted by twenty high-speed dodgeballs hitting him in the face and Dick. He falls over in pain. Yeah, y'all getting pummeled. <laughs> Probability of victory now at 0.0%, preparing to lose gracefully. <laughs> Good game, fellow competitors. Good game. I am not upset at the events that are unfolding currently. Please report to my ar uh, to my arm for congratulatory high five. He is such a sweetheart. I love him very much. Yeah. <laughs> Another deluge of dodgeballs covers you in bruises, welts, and the splattered remains of the, hors of the hors d'oeuvres Miranda was attempting to provide. You lose two fun and one charm. Chat's just back to spamming revolution again. <laughs> oh, is this it? It's, it's time. It's it. I'm gonna fail. Because I, I got so You were with Damien? No, you were with no. Calculester. Calculester. Stephanie's with yeah. Damien. My name is Calculester. Aw, oh, you talk. Was that mm -hmm. Jack Septicai? Yeah, I saw that in the in the chat they were talking uh, about that. I'm like, I'm like, hang on a minute. I think he's, everyone in here is a famous person. Stefan. With the Damien. But if I just like, I'm just like, oh, just old Zoe. Like the one person I interacted with, that not at all. Oh, Damien. I'll they make such a, a cute couple with the, the fire. I know, we do fire. actually look oh, pretty yeah. Look at, like, we it's look pretty dope fire. together, honestly. Yeah. Um, sure. Boop, 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 boop. I don't think I even talked to a single character twice. None of them. <laughs> they can all go fuck themselves, I guess. And then chat's all yelling Miranda right now? Yeah. They're all yelling Miranda. Alright. Let's Mita, see what happened. Not Mita. Miranda's, I think Miranda's really cute. I think she's underrated. <gasps> I didn't go first? Did I succeed? No. Well, it's because chat's definitely losing. Oh. They literally have never interacted with Miranda, I think. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. <laughs> that, that's disgusting. You're a poor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm seeing someone. Like right now. Hey, you peasant. Miranda's just waving her hand at a distracted passerby. I order you to rescue me from this awkward situation. See? I know him. <laughs> <Don't> Farewell. <laughs> it's okay. You moved on from this horrible and shameful failure. You became a, fun a functional uh, person and eventually you met a sweet banshee called Ash. You shared lots of common interests and after dating for some years, you married. Oh, cute. One day in the middle of casual conversation, you mentioned that you couldn't get a date for monster prom. Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such <laughs> oh, a pathetic no! revelation. Oh no! And so Ash abandoned you the next day. That's so sad! And thus you live the rest of your day alone and sad. Never forget, monster prom is the most important thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a funeral performer. You finally pluck up your courage to ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Hmm. Let me run all potential outcomes to this scenario. Calculester plus Colonel plus date at Prom Night processing. Okay, so there is a 0.2% chance we end up murdered by a wild walrus, and 0.7% that we end up in prison for illegal ice cream consumption. But around 85% of the potential outcomes are actually positive. So it seems going with you to prom might be the safest uh, and smartest yes. choice. Yay, a dick! Oh, statistics sure are sexy, aren't <laughs> they? Oh yeah, put them right there. Are your internal processors getting overheated too? You have the password to my You and Calculus are dance the, ro the robot dance and even robo boogie. Oh, that's so cute! Look at his Good suit. job, Colonel. <laughs> Yay, I did it. You were smooth and classy. Calculester wanted to explore life, and hell yeah, you explored life. Later, when the night was ending and the sun started to rise, you two went on went, went to your place. There, you followed the wise advice you learned from Ev Evangelion. As Gendro Akari once said, Shinji, get, get in, in the, the robot. fucking robot. Your dad loves you. Get in the robot. <laughs> okay, be being last is a good sign for me. Mm -hmm. You finally pluck up your courage to ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Prom? With you? We only have matching tattoos. What are you, crazy? <laughs> it's clingy. <laughs> you dumb fuck. That's a fucking great <laughs> idea. Are you some kind of genius or something? I'll tell you what you are. 
my date to prom. Oh, we're so sexy. Prom night was crazy intense. At one point, a classmate of yours criticized how Damien is always getting into fistfights, for which Damien punched him, starting yet another fistfight. He joined in and fought with him back to back. It was super. It was super sexy, choreographed fight, and he even exchanged th uh, trusting glances while watching over each other's backs. And that wasn't the only time that night you took care of Damien's freedom. Ooh, just Wink. <laughs> pegging. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to double. I had to double take to say uh, trusting instead of thrusting. There was like a moment like no, 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 no. <laughs> you ask no one to prom because you don't need anyone else to make the most of the night. Sometimes you feel like you have to get the uh, get a date to be anyone in this wicked world, but that's not true. You're your own person, and that's the most important thing. Love is wonderful, sure, but you have but you have no hurry in finding in finding it. Uh, prom shouldn't be a deadline, but a night to remember. And you do so. You have a wonderful night. Going alone to prom doesn't mean being lonely. You have tons of fun with your classmates. You rock. Nothing is as sexy as being independent and strong on your own. And people notice. So who knows, maybe eventually you might date one, or some, of them. But today? Today, you marry the knight. Where's, did I not get an ending? Oh. Yeah. You married the knight. How, how does that event work? I didn't get the ending. <laughs> God damn it. You did not. Yeah, I don't think I you, did everything I don't think you progressed right. far enough into it or whatever. Didn't I do everything right? Why is this game confusing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's that or something I've like had, that. It's like my fourth game where I tried to follow a plotline and then just vanished midway through. And I'm like, okay, cool. Glad I tried. Womp, womp. I wonder if it's stat checks, basically. Like, you I have to know. have certain stats. Or we're just getting totally <laughs> fucked by playing short games because the game's so long. Because maybe that, that explains why it didn't give you an event at the, th the second day's morning, but gave you at the afternoon. I don't know. Maybe you got the stat, the correct starts, maybe, the stats for the afternoon. It was like a really big gap between the events. Yeah, maybe you I, needed I to, to go to on. certain places. Maybe you like, maybe that event. If that's a thing, the game has never established that, and I don't know how you would know where the future plot will go. Yeah. Like how how yeah. would you do that? Maybe, maybe they hint, whatever. Let's I don't see. know. I don't know. <laughs> Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened and it was wonderful. Miranda got a job being a princess of her own kingdom. Which is actually kind of her job anyway. Well, you don't see her complaining about it. Calculester led a robot uprising, but it was like a nice uprising. They didn't riot or kill people, they just politely asked to have more rights and equal pay. <laughs> Who let Leonard take this picture? <laughs> Everything was fine until some monsters led a rebellion to kill all robots because they were rude robo-racists. But everything ended up just fine because Calculester traveled back in time and... Took, took care, care of, of it. it. <laughs> Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything until one day he punched his own anger to death. He's written a book about it. For those two weeks, Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in the war called Youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I was just, six times six equals Doing twenty-seven. Doing mods was terrible advice. Never listen to chat. <laughs> oh, look at your cool. We picture. can make anything work. It's alive. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cute because you're both you're both like artificially Ooh, made alive. someone's getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Farad has a police report. <laughs> um, and then more gallery. What is that first thing when, when you unlock that first thing? What does it mean? Like, uh, it's like you ever play Binding of Isaac? Yes. You know how you when you beat it and play it more, it unlocks more stuff more that items. gets randomized into oh, the yeah. pool of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. We're unlocking more mechanics that can show up and events and so on. Uh, like, like I think some of the items in the sh shop have been unlocked over time. Everybody date Calculester. He's so cute with his little suit. <laughs> Our first rejection with Miranda. She is not that, that's so cute. It's the first time anyone's asked Miranda to. Oh, I know. We, we, we had an event once. But usually we don't yeah, ask we Miranda out. And we've never she had a normal date. Yeah, we've never had a normal date with Miranda either. We've only had the event that one time. It's like over. There it is. 
This is only the second time anyone's asked Miranda out. I like Miranda. I like that she's really evil. <laughs> she was my plan B today after the event, but then the event like got so confusing I couldn't tell what was happening. I just it's think she, alive. She, she gets overlooked because she's like the most basic, basic the, bitch. Like she, yeah. she's the she's the girl that people didn't really like. In, she in says real life horrifying, in high ruthless things every now and then. That's really funny though. Yeah, I do, and I think she's adorable to look at. Yeah, she's very cute. Only life, only life peasants can stage a rebellion. We uh. <laughs> I like that they made a spis- as far as I can tell, there's literally every possible combination between the four playable characters and all of the dateable people, and that's how you get every single Polaroid for the screen, which means it's a very long list of pieces of art. So that's the it's specific- four, uh, It's eight to the, it's the four. It's a- it's so many. Holy cr- there's 13 pages? Oh gosh. Cause it's- cause this, mm. <laughs> it's- it's four times- yeah, it's four and eight. It's a lot of combos! Mm-hmm. Oz, More Amira, Liam, talk. and Polly? Once again, Leah, Liam is the one that is the least, uh, like, he's the one that's changed the most, yeah, for he's sure. Yeah, the they really could not land on a design for him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Oz <laughs> no. just looks exactly like Oz here, and so does Polly Amira. looks more like uh, Ectoplasm than she looks like a ghost in this one. Yeah, they kept switching her up. And that's no, one of the ones. hunters. Not the hunters, the witches. It's a character from Dark Souls. The coven. <laughs> That's a, yeah, <laughs> she's, gonna, she's gonna laugh at him, just strangely. Oh, it's all three of the coven. The goth is strong with these ones. Yep. Man, I wish, like, I actually had real goths at my high school. That was just <laughs> not a thing. It's the thing I saw movies and stuff, but never, like, I never had real goths. In my, I, I had emo kids, because that was just there. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's a cute art. Well, we did mm -hmm. it, guys.